Hello ladies and gentlemen, Keaton here and welcome to the Tengu Drop Recap for the week of August 23rd, 2015. For the final time, I will be running down everything that we released on the channel this week, so let's jump in with Monday. On Monday, Joe wrapped up his submerged playthrough with the final part, the final landmarks to be found, the final revelations were revealed, heavy spoiler warning in case you need that spelled out for you. On Tuesday, I took a look at the new game from Mike Bitho called Volume, a stealth sort of puzzly kind of game with a heavy narrative. I'm not very good at stealth games, but I do try my best, and as a fan of Thomas Was Alone, I have quite a few things to say about Volume's presentation and mechanics and so forth, so if you want my first impressions, definitely check it out. On Wednesday, Joe did more seated runs in distance. Now, if you've never watched any of this, Joe inputs a whole bunch of words and it generates a track based on those words, and lately he's been taking suggestions from the comments that lovely people have been leaving, so if you manage to find a nice word combination or you just want to see him run penis, 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 penis maybe, I don't know, be sure to leave a comment with uh, your suggestions and you might see them show up in a future video. On Wednesday, we also took a look at a game called Wanderlust Adventures, an open world, free roaming RPG. Joe and I are playing it. I'm playing like a warrior class and Joe's playing like the mage. And uh, there's a lot of fun things to come, so be sure to check out the first episode. On Thursday, it was Nuclear Throne Roulette time, featuring probably one of the most hilarious bad spawns, tro spawns. And it was definitely a memorable experience and hilarious at that, so they yeah, are much more insanity as you would expect from a Nuclear Throne Roulette video for your viewing pleasure. On Thursday, we also took a look at a new game called Doorways Holy Mountains of Flesh. Now, this is actually more than just the first impressions. This is also the introduction of a brand new concept for a show that Joe and I have been meaning to uh, try out for the channel. And essentially, for those of you who haven't watched it, Joe plays the game, I'm watching it, and we're both commentating on the uh, game at the same time. So we would really appreciate if you guys would watch it and uh, leave your feedback so we can improve the concept in the future and possibly make it a reoccurring show. Also, I'm just gonna put that out there. There's another reason you wanna watch that video other than to watch us commentate and get scared. There's other reasons. If you're, if you're quick enough, that is. It'll make sense if you watch the video. So please, again, watch the video, leave your thoughts, and we would really appreciate it. On Friday, Joe and I took a look at a game mode in GTA called Hasta La Vista, and it's pretty much what you would expect. It's a recreation of the Terminator scene from uh, Terminator 2, where one team is on a bike, the other team are in giant trucks, and the giant trucks have to run them over, or the team has to reach a certain point on the map. And <laughs> we are, I think, more than excited to get back to that one because it is crazy fun. On Saturday, it was the introduction of yet another new concept that we have for a show. This one is called Mind Games, where Tim, Kevin, and myself play mini games on the Hypixel server. There are a ton of mini games to play, and we're just scratching the surface with this video. And uh, once again, would really appreciate if you guys watch it, comment, and let us know what you think of the video so we can, you know, maybe improve it in the future and try to make it the best, most entertaining video that we can make in that concept. And that is the week in Tengu Drop videos. What can you expect in the upcoming week? I'm not too sure about any new titles. There will be another episode of Wonderless Adventure, so once again, be sure to check out episode one. And next week, Sunday, is the Drop Pod. It will be a very special episode where Joe and I reflect on the second year of us being Tengu Drop, and we finally get to reveal and talk about what you guys can expect in the upcoming year. So. That is going to definitely be one to not miss, so be sure to get hyped. <laughs> and as I said last week, uh, for anyone who might have missed it, this is the final Tengu Drop Weekly Recap. It's been a blast, but it's time to put this show on the shelf. And I just want people to know that this means nothing. The reason that the Tango Drop recap is ending is to make way for new content that we will be introducing uh, in the upcoming year. So once again, a lot of this will be explained more and talked about more in the upcoming Drop Pod. 
but I can give you guys a little teaser now for being such fantastic supporters. Yes, there are new shows coming in, so to make way for all the new productions that we want to work on, we do have to eventually mix up our uh, release schedule a bit. And as a result, we need to refocus on certain things. And um, I have been doing the Tango Drop recap for so long. I've been doing it since the very beginning of the channel and started as a way for me to show the general public what we were doing on the channel because when we started we were doing a lot of content of a lot of very long content and i just wanted to highlight some of the best moments from each and every video that we did every single week and it's been a blast you know it's the show has evolved from just being a clip show to being sort of a clip show with commentary attached to it sometimes giving some little behind the scenes to certain videos to explain why things happened the way they did or you know funny stories and it's, you know, it's been fun, but I think we've been doing this long enough that people sort of know what to expect from us. And if they like the content that they see, you know, I hope they won't need a recap video to convince them to stay here, you know. So yeah, long story short, I feel that the Tengu Drop recap has served its purpose and it's time to finally branch out and evolve into new territories. And you know, it's not all bad. I'm still going to be here, obviously. It's just I won't be checking in with you guys every single week. So with that said, I want to thank every single one of you has watched these recaps and has left your feedback or just thumbed it up or you know just watched it in its entirety especially when i just seem to just ramble on sometimes and uh if anyone has been there since the beginning holy crap i would give you a cookie if i could <laughs> because you're awesome so for the final time that i get to remind you guys of this <laughs> on a weekly basis if you missed anything that we released on the channel this week be sure to check the link in the description below because everything is listed as always for your convenience and thank you to everyone who has been watching who is caught up we always really really appreciate your support and hopefully you guys will continue to keep watching in the future and hello to all the new subscribers and hello to all new subscribers in the future i hope you guys always enjoy the content and for the final time that I get to wish you guys this on a weekly basis, I hope you guys take care of yourselves. I hope you guys make the best out of every single day. And hopefully that includes watching Tengu Drop content. And yeah, until the next time that I get to wish you guys the best, take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys then for whatever comes next. Bye.